Right, today I'd like to show you something about the uh, company logo, the letterhead um, that you <coughs> configure and that is uh, visible when you print out your purchase invoices and your purchase orders, etc. Even your salary, salary slips and so on. Um, now on the settings now I did actually um, highlight this on the setup video. Um, you set up letterheads. Well, I mean, there's always a default, um, and of course those are configured under the company settings. If you go to company um, and you select the company, in this case only one, you'll see there's a place where it says. Uh, where is it now? Default letterhead. All right. Now I haven't set this up here, yeah, or in fact, I just took it off because I'm playing around with the default letterhead. Um, but that's where you s specify it, <coughs> the letterhead that you want to use. In fact, the letterhead that you set up here. All right. So you can choose whichever one. This comes up as a drop down. This allows you to. Um, make a nice looking purchase invoice for instance there's a few purchase invoices that I've got on the system so if you click on that one and you click on that print icon you can print a nice uh, company logo now if this is what you want that's fine to me this is a little bit a little bit big um, I'd like to have it a little bit smaller and into the left. So I'd like to quickly sh show you one way of doing this. I'm sure there's more than one way. Um, how to make it a little bit more smaller and move these things up. All right. But just before I carry on, um, please remember that these settings are, uh, if I may call it, remembered. So the before you do any purchase invoices or purchase orders set this up properly because if it's not set up properly then you the, the particular purchase invoices that has uh, let's call it the incorrect setup will have that and once you change it to like I'm going to make it smaller it's only the invoices after that that will have the smaller ones the smaller adjusted modified logos if I may call it that so before you actually do, start doing transactions make sure this is properly set up the way you want it right so that all your invoices and purchase orders and material requests and pay slips look the same all right so um, th there you saw what it looks like currently all right any of the purchase invoices it's a big logo all right, so and it's using, if you scroll down, you can see it actually draws us in from the default setting, uh, default company setting, and the print settings. It says there Trinity Drones letterhead. All right, now pay attention to that name. If we go to settings and under printing letterhead, You'll see there's a Trinity Drones letterhead, and there's a Trinity Drones letterhead. That's an S. Um, you can see it's an S, and then there's a TD Trinity Drones small left. I was just playing with different letterheads. That is the one that is used in that particular purchase invoice. All right. Now let's click on that, and I'm going to show you how to modify this. Now this is how you um, draw in a picture. All right. Um, you click clear and then of course there will be a, an attach button. I'm not going to do that now because I've done that in, in a previous video. Once you've got your image in there, alright, now to make that a little bit smaller and move it to the left, uh, there's one way to do that. You select HTML, alright, and it actually shows you the HTML c code. You can preview that. All right, that's why it's so big. And if you want to edit this, you can simply edit the HTML code. All right, first of all, you want to make this smaller. 
I find that 20% works pretty well. And then, of course, you can say float. And you can float it to the left. All right. Now, if you say save, that's now saved. And we go back to our purchase invoice, the one we had previously. We select that purchase invoice. Um, and we now print it. And you can see now it prints it nice, small in the top left hand corner. And it moves us up because previously um, you may find, but because of the big logo, that these last few lines rolled over to the next page, which makes it a look, look a little bit more un, a little bit unprofessional. So I like this. If you like the bigger logo, don't do this. If you want the smaller one on the left hand side, and of course, if you if you change the format of the invoice, and you want it on the re right hand side, you'll just change the HTML code up, uh, accordingly. So there's one way of playing a, around a little bit with the logo that uh, that you use for your letterhead. Hope you found that hel helpful.